This year for the WIO World Robot Olympiad we have created this basic robot that is able to both grab elements and lift them and place them down again. It is a basic robot based on the standards based from the EV3 set from the education kit. We have simply added this kind of grab in the front. Let's take a look at how it works. So we have our turbine wall and our turbine base. The base has to be placed inside of the wall. We're using the sensor down in the middle in order to detect that we're going to the base. And we're using the same sensor to detect that we're going to the wall. The sensor down here. Now, for the next, let's see if we can put the technology decider inside of the wall. The program is exactly the same as before, because it's just a demo. So it sees the little decider and places the decider inside of the, inside of the base. And you can see by just pushing a bit in the end, we ensure that the decider is placed correctly inside of the base. Finally, we have the cuboid turbine. The same program as before. Detect the turbine, pick it up, detect the wall, place the turbine. And that is it. So, right now it's able to place all these parts correctly. And as we are still waiting for our field to be created, there might be some adjustments to the placement of the sensor here on the side, which is used to detect the turbines as it will be driving past them. And similarly, there might be some adjustments to the sensor pointing down in order to follow the line. Right now, this is all we have for now, because we're still waiting for the field to be created. And once I've tested this robot on the actual field, so I can drive around following the line, picking up, placing stuff as it should, then I will make building instructions thereafter and also release some sample programs for you to get started. And this is all just to get started with WL for this year, because the robots, it is quite simple, and in order to complete the task correctly and fast, you might want to make a more complicated robot than this. But it is a good way to start, and I will release the building instructions once we are confident that everything works as it should. So subscribe to this channel in order to get the updates as soon as they are created.